we're all here because there's a national emergency. Over two million, well over two million have now lost their unemployment insurance. And this national emergency is a personal emergency for those millions. So we put together a counter. I was hopeful we might get a 30-foot counter that uh, we could display before the Capitol. That turned out to be too expensive. Not too much, but too expensive. This is such a serious situation that we were t determined to illustrate uh, what uh, is going on. And essentially what this counter shows that uh, every five seconds there are three more workers in this country who are losing their unemployment insurance. My office gets phone calls continually from people all over the country. The story is always the same. I'm out of work for six months. I went and applied. There were 27 people who showed up for one job. I have two kids. I'm going to not be able to pay my mortgage. I haven't any money to put on the table. When is the bill going to pass? And when you try and answer that question, you ask yourself, what is the Republican hypocrisy that's going on here? And it only recently came very clear when John Kyle over in the House, uh, the Senate said, the Bush tax cuts didn't need to be paid for. They didn't have to be offset, but these benefits have to be offset. We're not going to have offs We're not going to have benefits unless we offset them, unless we pay for them. Uh, the economists will tell you that extending unemployment insurance makes sense. It's the smart thing to do in terms of continuing to stimulate the economy. Uh, but if you even leave that aside, it is absolutely the most fundamentally decent and compassionate thing to do. Hello, everyone. My name is Barbara Boniseski, and I am from Baltimore City. I do not stand here as one person. I stand here, and I represent the number that is behind me. I exhausted my 26 weeks of unemployment, which I have never been on in my life. I started working at the age of 16. I think of one person who is unemployed, who is losing their benefits, walked up to their boss and said, I would like to be unemployed starting tomorrow. And now how will I live? We are a country that helps in time of crisis in times of earthquakes, floods to other countries, we step up and we say, we are here for you. How dare they turn their backs on us now? If you were a bank, we'd find a way to do it. If you were a corporation on Wall Street, we have found a way to do it. You just happen to be a human being in this country that pays into a system, and the system is being really put upon right now. And your story is a story of many people in the United States. We must directly help the American people, stand with them as they continue to be the victims of the irresponsibility of past policies. I urge the Senate to act with the urgency this situation calls for. And thank you for coming forward. We needed to hear that over and over again. The position thank you, the Washington Republicans have taken on this issue is a slander against the hard-working people in this country who are out of work through no fault of their own. It also shows a shocking uh, misunderstanding of the way unemployment compensation insurance what the works. the Republicans are doing is just shameful. Uh, I don't know how many members of Congress who have ever received unemployment compensation, I but I laid have. off October 31st, 2008. I was receiving unemployment from April 2009 until June 5, 2010, when my EUC benefits was abruptly I stopped. I basically spend about four to six hours a day, six days a week, looking and applying for jobs. I get very frustrated because I hear a lot of people say that I'm underqualified, overqualified, and I also have a stack of resumes where people have not responded back to me and that's very frustrating. The me. reason I came here today is to ask that the vote is reconsidered and unemployment extension is reinstated so that people like myself can continue when this to this crisis hit, it hit Las Vegas and the state of Nevada in a disproportionate way. 
we have well over 14 percent unemployment. Now, I know I've heard this absolute nonsense from the other side of the aisle that these, we better not extend unemployment benefits because people are going to get used to them. It's as if people enjoy living on the brink. The insult of that is beyond We me. have an obligation to our fellow citizens to help them bridge this gap so that we don't decimate these people so terribly that they can never recover. It is a shame and a disgrace that our colleagues have not been able to do the right thing, the moral thing, the compassionate thing. Republicans have blocked us from extending unemployment benefits time and time again. Over and over again, the House has done the right thing. The Democrats, we've done the right thing. I urge the Senate to extend unemployment benefits now. Today, we must send a strong and clear message. We tell our employed brothers and sisters not to give up, not to give in, not to lose hope, but help. It's on the I'm way. pleased to join my colleagues today in encouraging our colleagues on the Republican side to do the right thing. About insurance. It's insurance. Insurance means you pay into something. When times get tough, you get it back. This is really what this is about. I don't understand why people can't understand when what I it's about. When I see Republicans stand in the way of passing this legislation and hear them say things like unemployment makes people spoiled or people don't want to look for a job, it just makes me angry. But uh, it's, nothing can be further from the truth. And it is such an insult to the American people, the hardest working people on the planet. These are the people who build America, who run America, who serve America, who keep us going forward. And then to say to them, they are spoiled. It is so a it's disgrace. bad enough that the Republican economic policies got us into this mess in the first place, but now when they stand in the way of passing this, passing this bridge for people to get by until they can get back to work, I say to them, have you no shame? Have you no shame?